everyone. Welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes, and I'm back with my first styling box since my no buy. I have a Trendsend. So Trendsend is a styling service by uh, Ever Eve. Ever Eve is a brick and mortar store. Um, they're a very high end store, which brings me to my love and hate relationship with Trendsend. <laughs> so I love the clothes that Trendsend sends. I love the vibe, the look. Um, I just don't like the prices. Now, uh, some things they do try and keep within my price range. Basically, anything under $100 is doable for me, but it's a splurge when it gets close to $100. So when I get a box, I usually only keep one or two items because it's just out of my budget otherwise. Um, the other thing about Transcend that I don't like, and you will see, is they're really not geared to petite women. <laughs> they just really are not. And part of it is stuff that I put on my stream not knowing how it's going to fit because I'm not in store to see the items. And I would hope that a stylist would know when they see my height that, you know, this isn't going to work for her versus send it to me. I do use the warehouse. Uh, I find because I am petite, the have more of a selection of the extra small sizes, which I need. If I went through a local store, I really would get nothing and I would waste my money and send the box back. And that has happened to me where just nothing fit in the box. All right, so my I'm gonna back up in a minute and I'm gonna explain uh, the first outfit. And oh, one thing I wanted to point out, thank you, thank you, thank you if you use my link. I got 20% off this whole box, so that really does help me out. I really appreciate it. All right, so if you want to try Transcend, I'll link my link below. Uh, I believe it's only a dollar for your very first box. For me, it cost me $20 per box, um, and hopefully I get one thing out of it. So what I typically do is I put things on my wish list on every eve, including a piece of jewelry, just in case nothing works out in the box. So, the first thing that I have on are these jeans, which she says she couldn't resist sending to me. Now, I did ask for a pair of Ecru jeans, but I picked some ones from Cut in the Cloth, a pair of Edwin, but she ended up sending these instead, which are 100 in my price, so after the 20% discount, 183.20. So right there and then, these jeans I'm not keeping just for the price. She says, I couldn't resist sending them to you. They're so flattering. So I got my normal size 25, and they're, they're huge on me. They're huge in the waist, all right? I don't know if you can see this, all right? They're huge in the waist, so definitely size down on these, and they're just way too long here. And I'm gonna pan down. I think they're supposed to be cropped, but they are full length on me, okay? So these are gonna go back, all right? And I was hoping really, I do want a pair of Ecru jeans. I've actually told all my styling boxes I want a pair of off-white jeans and white jeans. I want both. Um, but yeah, these are not gonna work out for me. The next thing, again, I put it on my wish list because I, I saw this, I like this. Kimonos rarely work for me. <laughs> I am just a short person, and I think this is just overflowing me. I do like it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This is, oh, and the, the jeans, I didn't tell you. They're by Paige. They're the Carly with waistband tie. So they do have the tie. They have the five pocket styling here on the jeans, if you can see that and they do have a little tie waist, all right? So I do like the jeans, I like the style. They're just they're just not gonna work for me. Yeah, I mean, I would have to size down, and even if I size down, I don't know if they're gonna still look right. The length is, I believe they're supposed to be cropped, and obviously they're not cropped on me. And, you know, the price just makes them, you know, wipes them out right off the bat. So the, the kimono, let's see if I can find this. This is the, looking for this the Owen striped wrap kimono in blue white by Harriet Isles 4640 would be my price so not a bad price but it, it is super thin I'll come close it is see-through which most kimonos are um, it's like a navy blue and like off-white stripe it's very pretty I do like it I did have it on my wish list because when I see things I like I put them on my wish list not knowing what they're gonna look like but it, because it's a one size, it's just, just too big. It just does not look nice on me. The next up is this Michael Stars tank. It is a Maya V-neck and Admiral. So Admiral, I can't say that name, but basically navy blue by Michael Stars. My price $54.40. Um, I like Michael Stars. This is a 100% cotton tank. It's machine wash, gentle cycle, cold with light colors, um, tumble dry low. I like Michael Stars. I think it's a great quality. However, I will not be spending 
that kind of money on a tank. I, and that's my discounted price, 54.40. I, I would rather, much rather spend my money on other things. So I'll show you the back of it. I am wearing a racer back bra. Um, it does do a little bit of gapping here, and I think it's because my chest is too big and my arms are too short. So there's just not enough space between here, you know, and, and my body, and then it's too tight across here, so I get a little bit of that gapping. So it doesn't, it's not even the perfect fit for me. Um, and let's see, well, let me see, I think this is like 100% right on this thing. Let me see if I can find the, the material on this one. This is one size, 40% polyester, 60% acrylic. And to take care of this kimono, it's hand wash, cold water, no, only non-chlorine bleach, lay flat to dry, cool iron if needed. And the jeans, which I will tell you because I saw the tag here, 57% cotton, 34% rayon, 6% lycra, esterel, and 6% lycra spandex. Now, what's the difference between those two? I don't know, but that means it's 12% lycra. Lots of stretch in these pants, ladies. So if you like these pants and you can afford them, um, you know, just keep in mind, size down. There's plenty of stretch and they run big. <laughs> All right, give me a minute and I'm gonna throw on the next outfit. Okay, next up I kept on the same pants, which are entirely too big. Um, this time I have it paired with a pair of sneakers, so you can see the length on me. And again, I believe these are supposed to be cropped, but on uh, me, I'm only five foot two. Uh, some of you might want to know my stats. I'm five foot two um, and about 118 pounds currently. Um, so the next item I have on besides the jeans is the Cory Varsity sweatshirt in off-white multi, size extra small. I really like this. So if this is like material put like stitched in here. So it's not like ironed on. This is like material that they literally stitched in in gray and a creamy color. Um, I don't know if you can see the texture on this. So it has like a little bit of texture. Um, and then the, the sweatshirt itself is ecru. All right, and I love these varsity stripes, if you don't know me. And the inside it is more of a French terry than a thick terry. And it's by Ever Eve. And again, my price with the 20% off is $62.40. Do I like this? Yes. Do I wear sweatshirts that often? Not really. Moreover, I have this other sweatshirt that I bought from Ever Eve probably about a year or so ago. That's also the varsity stripes. Yes, it's a little different. It has gold, this is gold and it's sparkle and it's pure white versus ecru as you can see. But it's again, it's a varsity stripe sweatshirt. Do I need another? No. <laughs> so if I have to send something back, I would send this back. I do recommend it though. It is nice and soft on the inside. It has a little bit of fleece, but not much. And it's, it's, so it's kind of like a cross between a French terry and a fleece sweatshirt, to be honest with you. Uh, the sleeves are to be expected to be long, so I'm short. This is an extra small, my normal size. Um, like it a lot, just, just cannot justify it. The price is not too bad. I would pay this type of price, but if I didn't have that sweatshirt already. All right, so here's the back of it. And it doesn't look like there's any stripes on the back from as far as I can see. It looks like they're just on the front and all the way around the arms, okay? And uh, yeah, this is the sweatshirt. Give me a minute, I'm gonna try on another item. Okay, next up I have the Selena earring pack in gold. I'll bring them close. There's three different sets of earrings. These are like a chain link, which I don't own. These are like a resin and an oval neutral color. And these are like a flat gold hoop. I do like these earrings a lot, but as I mentioned to you, I typically put jewelry on my wish list just in case nothing in the box works out. And I have a feeling things in the box are gonna work out. So I do like these, but there's lots of other things I like better, and I do have to make my choices as what I'm gonna keep. This is $35.20 my price, all right? This will be going back. I'm not gonna try them on. I'll bring them a little bit closer so you can see. All right, they are cute. Um, these do seem, these here do seem a little bit heavy, but the other two seem very light. Like I could feel my hand being weighted down here on the left. So these will be going back. I'm not gonna try them on. Keep them nice for the next person. The next thing I have on is this sweater, this cardigan that I've been wanting for forever. So this cardigan is called the Adeline Marl Cardigan in Autumn Snow, size extra small by RD Style. This is on sale, and my sale price and the 20% off, it's still $67.99. I've wanted this sweater forever. Laura from Little Box of Happy got it first. Kayla from Kayla's Closet got it next. 
it is a pretty sweater and I am even though it's autumn snow is the colors and the colors in it are autumn I think this is perfectly acceptable to wear for spring transition too so I'm gonna come closer it has like an ecru background and then it has like all these different light colors in here so it's almost like a, a brownish olive like a light gold like a reddish color um, I decided to pair it, but they didn't give me a shirt to wear underneath. I decided to pair it with this, like, uh, I would call this color like Adobe or Desert Sand a t shirt that I got from Target. I have it underneath. I think even if I had this buttoned up, I think I would still need like a cami or t shirt because it is, does come quite low on me. You know, um, I think I would need something there. So here it is buttoned up. All right, it's adorable. It fits me well. I know a lot of people don't like this crop style. I'm being five foot two, I'm loving this crop style. Finally, shirts that fit me. <laughs> so I think this is adorable. I like it. Um, this, this top is mine, all right? So I've been wanting this for a while. I'm keeping this sweater. I think it's perfect for string transition. I think it's great for fall. And I could also wear it in the winter, all right? Uh, the material on this is see if I can find what the material is. 38% uh, recycled polyester, 37% polyester, 25% acrylic, machine wash, cold water, wash separately, do not bleach, reshape while damp, and lay flat to dry. Do not dry clean, do not iron. I can do that. <laughs> so it has these like dark tortoiseshell like buttons down here and I just love the colors in this I think this is a really cute sweater so what I paired it with is uh, th these are the surprise out of the box so they sent me a cut pair of cut from the cloth jeans I love cut from the cloth for the most part you know I'm gonna they're, they're not my favorite brand but I do like them they do stretch a lot um, but they sent in me a boot cut and as soon as I saw them when I went to pretend to check out because you can cheat on transcend and pretend like you're checking out I'm like Boot cut in a regular size are never gonna work for me. I'm too short. I get them and I pull them out of the box and I went, huh, these might work for me. <laughs> so they were a surprise and I'm very happy that they do seem to be work for me. These are called the Stella Boot Cut in Optic White. And I do need a pair of white jeans. My white jeans are years old and they don't fit right anymore. And they're skin tight, jegging type of style. And I've been looking, I told all my styling boxes I'm looking for a new pair of white jeans. My price on these is $71.20, which is not a bad price. And so I am going to keep these jeans as well. And they actually told me to pair this sweater with the horrible baggy pants. I said, I can't do those justice. <laughs> so let me show you how I uh, paired it with. I paired it with the, the cut from the cloth jeans, okay? I want to show you this, all right? So they, they don't pull here. I have a problem with most of my jeans. They pull right here, and the zipper gets ends up getting exposed because I have larger hips. But these don't seem to pull at all. All right, they have the five pocket styling. They have the raw hem, which I'll pan down in a minute. All right, so there's the, the raw hem, okay? And I paired these with my um, new heels that I got from Sam Edelman, my new Mary Jane heels. And this is how I'd wear them. And I think this is a good length boot cut on me. I was very, very happy to see that a boot cut in this is a regular size it's not a petite so i was pretty impressed usually it's like miles long on me and these actually work for my body and again i'm five foot two so there you go all right so i think these are keeper they're very comfortable uh, let's see if i can see what it is made out of i don't know there's a lot of stretch. Oh wait, here, here we go. 98% cotton, 2% spandex, machine wash cold, inside out to retain color, only non chlorine bleach, tumble dry low, or lay flat to dry. All right, so yes, I can do that too. So this is a keeper, all right? So two things, and I think that's gonna have to be my max limit, but let me try on the other things and, and make sure I can rule them out. Give me a minute. All right, next up is the Emma Pullover. In, by brand 525 in the color butter size extra small for $70 my price $70.40 so this is a hundred percent cotton the brand name again is 525 I think it's a great quality sweater especially for those of you who like natural fibers however it just is just ridiculous on me um again too long it comes to my mid thighs um, I would wear mini skirts this short so um, 
it just doesn't look good. It's just rather boxy and frumpy on me. So this is going back. I'll turn around so you can see the back of it. Okay. So uh, up next, uh, I got a couple more tops. And again, they only sent two bottoms. I have two bottoms, a dress and a jumpsuit. But I got a couple tops to show with these jeans. So give me a minute. I'll switch. Okay. Ne up next is this top by Nation LTD. Um, the Hillary Romance Tee and Heartbreaker. My price is $73.40, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Um, I have a Nation LTD top from Trendsend. And these things are, are really thin. I'm going to let you know now. They're 100% cotton. Let's make sure. Yes, 100% cotton, Pima cotton. And you can gentle wash and it's cold inside and out with light colors, tumble dry cold. I never tumble dry my shirts. Um, I have a Nation LTD top in a different color. Yes, I did have this on my wish list. The Nation LTD top that I got in another color did get a very teeny tiny little hole in the front of it. Now, I don't care about that hole so much because it's the place where I do a front top. So no one's going to see that hole. Eventually, if it gets bad, I'm going to have to get rid of that top. But right now, I'm going to continue wearing it because I spent the good money on it. And I like the top. So I'm very hesitant on buying this name brand again, even though I do like their styles and I like the material, like how it feels. It's so soft and light and airy, but because it's so soft and so thin, obviously it's prone to holes. <laughs> all right, this isn't going to work for me. All right, first place, it's, it, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be on the shoulder. It's not supposed to be off the shoulder. It's supposed to be a puff sleeve top and it's just too big. You know, I, I'm too short this way. And meanwhile, it's rather tight across the chest. So I need more width this way and less width length this way for this top to work for me. So this is going back, which is kind of a relief because I really wanted this top. And when I saw it, I was like drooling over. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I want that top. And I was kind of glad it, it just does not work out for me. It would drive me nuts these things falling off all the time. Moreover, you can see my bra here. I'm going to come closer so you can see. All right. So it, it's not very bra friendly, at least on me this top. I want to show you the detail of the sleeves. It has a gathering up here and a gathering here, so it gives it that balloon effect. The material is super, super thin, super, super soft, but like I said, then it makes it prone to holes. So it, it's, it's something that even though it is machine washable, you've got to put it in a garment bag, wash gentle, wash with light colors, hang to dry. I would not recommend tumble drying these. You shrink up to nothingness, okay? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this is the top. Um, they also made it look like hot pink online. This is not hot pink. It's a deep red. This would go great with those red boots that I have. It's a deep red, kind of deeper than a cherry red. You know, it's not like a cherry. Cherry's brighter. This is like a, a deep, saturated red. It doesn't look hot pink like it did online. So this top will be going back, and it's kind of a relief. I'm over my obsession with it, and now I can focus on these two items that actually do work for me. Give me a minute and I have another top. Okay, I got another Nation LTD top to show you. So this Nation LTD top is the Amelia Drama Sleeve Tee in Rusted Rose, size extra small by Nation LTD. My price, $74.40. Crazy for a t-shirt. But it is very, again, the material is very nice. I'm pretty sure this is 100% cotton too. Yep, yep, yep. Same care instructions, wash inside out with light colors non chlorine bleach leaded, tumble dry low. I would never tumble dry these, um, hang dry. Um, and they're paper thin, they'll dry in no time. Um, so this looks a, a very similar to this one that I have, all right? So yes, this is a darker saturated color. This is a lighter color. This is fall. This one I can probably get away all seasons. Um, the sleeves on this, I have to iron this, or actually I'll, I'll steam it, I won't iron. The sleeves on this are, are different sleeves. So these are a shorter cuff and they're, they're smocked. And these have long and it's just tighter. It's not smocked at all. I prefer this one. Um, I'll show you the teeny tiny hole on this on the bottom. So it's a teeny, teeny tiny little hole. You can't even see it. You would never know it unless I pointed it out. <laughs> and it's the part of it I tuck in. So I'm okay with wearing it with a hole. Um, and I actually, I don't like crew necks better. I actually like V necks, scoop necks, square necks better. But due to my height, I think I like the crew neck on this one better. This is a pretty deep V on my height. And I would wear it, but it is pretty borderline here. You know, um, you can see right down inside of my top. <laughs> so this top is also a no because it's similar to the top I already own. And like I said, I will buy more Nation LTD tops, but they're going to have to be at a really good price because because of that hole. I like them, but um, they really require 
extra special care, if that makes sense. All right, give me a minute and I have a dress and a jumpsuit left. Okay, sometimes I don't know who the hell I am. <laughs> so I put this on my wish list because I think I'm five foot nine, 20 years old, but I am not. I'm a menopausal woman who is five foot two. This is not going to work for my body. <laughs> So yeah, I sometimes, you know, want to try things. It was fun trying it. And yes, you can tell me this does not look good on me. I know. This is the Danielle midi dress in black size, extra small by line and dot for $79.20, my price. I don't think that's a bad price at all. Um, this is a completely knit dress, like a sweater dress, like a rib knit, okay? Um, when I take it off, oh, can I? No, I can't tell you what the, what the fabric is. You can see it cuts in extremely tight here so you cannot wear a bra regular bra with this I have a strapless on I could not wear a regular bra you would see the straps um, it shows every lump and bump you could even see here's my bikini underwear line here's my pouch here um, back here you can see the line going across the top you can see my rolls hanging over the top I know it's not a lot but it's enough for me and uh, yeah not keeping this I don't know if you can see uh, the length on me. It is a midi style, so the length is not bad. But uh, yeah, this is it. I don't know what I was thinking when I put this on my wish list. It looked great on her or on me. Not so much. All right, give me a minute, and I just have the jumpsuit left. Last item is this cloth and stone jumpsuit. This is the sleeveless belted jumpsuit by Endlessa. And oh, sorry, Endless C is the name. Sorry, one word. Endless C, size extra small. $118.40 is my price. Cloth and Stone is an expensive name brand, but I've actually found some Cloth and Stone at Marshalls. So if you're careful enough, you can find it uh, cheaper. It always seems to go on sale, but it is a really expensive name brand to start for retail price. Um, I don't think $118 is awful for this jumpsuit. I'll have to look at the material. I would say it's probably either rayon or cotton, or I don't think there's any polyester in this. Um, it might even be some tinsel. I'll look when I take it off to look. The dress, I can tell you, was a mixture of rayon, polyester, and nylon, and it was dry clean only, the dress. And I also look back at the footage, and you don't have to tell me, I had that yellow sweater on backwards. That's so embarrassing. Yes, I had it on backwards. That's okay. It's still, I don't like the sweater, regardless of it's front or back. It was just too big. So the jumpsuit. Let me tell you. Getting this on was difficult. It wasn't difficult, it wasn't tight, it wasn't a problem. The buttonholes are sewn so tight, I couldn't unbutton the buttons. So there is no way I'd ever wear this jumpsuit or buy it because I would pee in my pants. I'm menopausal, remember? Um, there's no way I can wear this jumpsuit without like peeing in my pants because I have to use the bathroom and getting them unbuttoned. It, it was so, so, so difficult to get the top two buttons open. They're like sewn, like the holes are tiny. <laughs> Um, as you can see, it's a little bit big on me, but I don't think extremely big. Um, you can see my bra a little bit over here. It's a little bit big down here as well. Um, but other than that, like if you were a teeny bit taller than me, this would be a very flattering jumpsuit. Um, it is a little bit tight on my calves too. I have extra big calves. So this is a no for many reasons. One is the fact that right off the bat, I can't unbutton it, right? There, there's no way, there, I will never make it to the bathroom. I don't think anyone would be able to make it to the bathroom in time. And these buttons were on there and I'm like, I was like taking a good 10 minutes just to unbutton the top two buttons to get this on. Um, it does have a collar, which I didn't realize at first. And it's in like, a, they call it an endless sea. It's like a washed black, I would call it. Maybe it is like a, a dark blue, but it almost looks to me like a washed black, all right? So this is the jumpsuit, and this one is going back. All right, uh, well, I'm going to keep two things from this box. I'm gonna keep the cut from the cloth jeans, and I'm gonna keep the uh, cardigan from RD Style that I have had my eye on forever, and I was waiting for it to go on sale, and I've been holding off and buying, and I've been holding off and asking for a Transcend, and I've been watching everybody else wear it, and going, I want that sweater. So I finally got the sweater I want, <laughs> um, and the rest is going back. Um, like I said, it, it, this box is hit or miss for me due to my size. I do recommend you try them if you can only get that dollar styling, styling fee because the very first time is a dollar styling fee and you get 20% off your first box if you use someone's link. So why not? Give it a shot. 
Um, and you know what? It, you just gotta limit to yourself because you can't buy the whole box. It's expensive stuff. You just choose and pick what works for you and send the rest back. Shipping is free both ways. Thank you again for returning subscribers. I appreciate your support. Give my channel, uh, video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? I have a wantable coming up next. Take care and until next time.